Symmetry. If a function f satisfies f of negative x, which is equal to f of x, for every number x in this domain, then f is called an even function. So for instance, the function f of x is equal to x squared is even, because if we use the input of negative x and plug it into the x for this function, negative x squared becomes positive x, which actually equals the function from the beginning, which is f of x. So the geometric significance of an even function is that its graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. So if we take a look at this figure 19, if we take a look at the y-axis, and here is our graph, if you folded this page and the middle was the y-axis, it would be symmetric according to the y-axis. So this means that if we plotted the graph of f for where x is greater than or equal to zero, we'd obtain the entire graph simply by reflecting this portion from the y-axis. Now, if f satisfies f of negative x is equal to negative f of x for every number x in its domain, then f is called an odd function. So for example, the function f of x is equal to x cubed is odd because if we use the input of negative x, plug it into x cubed, negative x cubed becomes negative x cubed, then that means what we've done is we finished it by taking the negative sign and multiplying it by the function of x. So that means that these were equal to each other. So the graph of an odd function is symmetric about the origin. So what that means is its origin, if you rotate this entire graph, then what happens is, is that you have an odd function. So if we already have the graph of f for x is greater than or equal to zero, we can obtain the entire graph by rotating this portion through 180 degrees about the origin. So if you can rotate it at the origin and end up going 180 degrees and end up back in the same position, it's an odd function. Now, if it's neither of these, then you would say that it's neither even or odd.